What's up guys, coming at you from Shenzhen, and I am on the road again. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. I'm in my RV. I'm just about to drive to Hunan, to my friend's son's wedding. Uh, these are friends I've known for over 10 years here in Shenzhen. They own a local Hunan restaurant over in Bai Shizhou. I've been to their hometown before. I've stayed in their village. Um, this is a Im pretty important day for them. It's their son's wedding, so I'm driving out there. I'm going to bring along a friend with me from Anhui, uh, but he's based here in Shenzhen. I've known him even longer, since 2007. So I introduced him to these restaurant owners before, and they became good friends afterwards. So we're going to head on the road together. I didn't really need to drive the RV because we're going to be stopping in hotels and stuff like that. But the first leg of this trip is it's about 13 hours. I think I'll do it in one shot. Usually I do when it's that long. But because we've got the RV, maybe just for the just for the sake of the experience, we might stop maybe a couple of hours before our destination and find a highway service station, if it's a nice one or something like that, and camp out there. Then afterwards, after the wedding, I'll be heading up to Anhui, to um, my friend's hometown, the one I'm talking about, Gavin. And uh, maybe we'll use the RV there too if we camp out in the villages or something like that. So I have no idea what to expect. I know there's going to be a lot of drinking in Hunan at the wedding. That much I know. Uh, but it should be quite an adventure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do these videos, whether I'm going to split them into multiple videos or compress it into one. But what you should see from here after I see, after I hook up with Gavin here, uh, is some road footage on our way to Hunan. So I hope you guys enjoy the journey. See you soon. Oh, there he is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got some bags? All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, we, yeah, you haven't seen this yet. Okay. So, yeah, well, uh, we're a little bit close to the edge here, so we'll just throw your bag in anywhere, and then we'll get on the road first and arrange it later. Okay.
晚上不是、嗯、晚上不是不是，晚上我带你们住住那一边，住我们新房的，我们明天接亲的那边，明天住那边。我跟你说。呃，我等一，我等一下，你你们你们讨论。呃、uh, ，那个，哦，我的妈！呃 ，so we're here. We、uh, made it. We we went. We came in one shot. Thirteen hours of driving.、Uh, we were going to、um, stop somewhere and and camp out in the RV. We have some beer in the fridge from my brewery, but、uh, we ended up、uh, just going all the way.、Uh, other than、uh, having a sore butt from driving so long, it was a pretty good journey.、Uh, we stayed in a hotel and、uh, we're heading out for lunch.、Uh, it was. Uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty,、uh, pretty good. No traffic.、Uh, we listened to、uh, audio book、uh, how to hire,、uh, how to hide an empire, and、um, uh, rewatched what、well, he watched. My buddy Gavin watched a few documentaries, and uh, we, uh, uh, I listened to them while I was driving. So no, it was pretty good. And we're gonna head for lunch now. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey, we weren't supposed to meet until dinner, but now we're having lunch here. And、uh, they were pretty upset that we didn't tell them last night that we were we already arrived. We were like we arrived late though. They're funny, man. Oh, oh, what about what about you? Found inside the main. Uh, this is where Mesa was. Yeah, they were. We arrived at like midnight, and we stopped somewhere to have uh, this uh, malatang, which was actually really good,、um, and it was really fast too because everything's already prepared when you go in. Um, but they were like, "Why didn't you tell us you came? We would have taken care of you. We would have taken you out for dinner." We're like, "We arrived at midnight." But that's how friendly people are here.、Uh, let's、uh, let's see where we're going now. Okay. Yeah. That was a good trip, yeah. Yeah. Thirteen thirteen hours on the road. Whew. Good driver. <laughs> Excellent. 试一下怎么？嗯嗯，我刚,刚吃了这个，这个很好吃的。This is the groom's mother. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And the guy who picked us up was is the groom. So now we're eating and、um, lots of good stuff.、Here. Good good food, huh? Very nice. Yeah. So delicious. So this is this is the、uh, the mostly the bride's family. Yeah. But we are friends with the groom. Yeah. Close so, friends. Close, very close friends with the groom's family.、Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit, just a little bit awkward. A little bit, 有一点尴尬。我们就 No, 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 no. Something is an honor. Yeah, it's a, it's an honor, but I feel like we are like in, 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 coming into their family. So,、uh, because all of、uh, friends, they say, "We're happy." I think, I think, I think, I think, 尴尴尬 is the、uh, wrong、no. word. I mean, I'm、mm. 不好意思 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, 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 not a bad term. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not, no, no. 说错了，就是就是就是。有一点不好意思，你说一套话。Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Yeah. Happy day. Happy day. My friends, come here. Come here. Good, good, good life. Yeah, yeah. So many good, good, so many good relatives and friends、mm, yeah, for a long time, yeah, yeah. almost for whole life. 管这边再来的，姐姐。你们好聊的啊，啊，姐妹啊，婶婶，婶婶，三个，快乐啊！其实每一天都放着吧。Good food, good wine. Good food, good wine. Oh, my God!、Uh, this is our second.、Uh, yeah, this this uh, white 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 wine about five hundred U.S. dollar per, per bottle. Wow. We're already on our third hour. Thank you. All right, we're pretty deep into the baijiu, into the rice wine. But I gotta show you guys. I'm not recording much because I'm just enjoying the moment. But I gotta show you、uh, one particular dish that I really like. This is in in Jiangxi and Hunan. Anhui, Anhui also, yeah. Oh, Anhui also. It is called tofu. Oh, this one is from the northeast. Uh, what's it? Uh, northeast. Have you? Yes, but but there is. We have this also. Have this, but in the bottle on the super,、oh, okay. supermarket. But in our village, it is our the villagers made it by themselves. No, 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 no. The same, the same, the same dish. Yeah, yeah. The same dish. So this is they make a lot of this in Jiangxi also, and this is a 
tofu, uh, a preserved tofu that's mashed up. It's very salty, and you just eat a little bit at a time between like dishes. It's but, really. But really good. in this in this dishes, you cannot judge the, the piece by piece. But in, in our hometown, you can just still judge piece, small piece by piece. Yeah, yeah, it's very delicious, and uh, our yeah, you only eat a little bit at a time. Yeah, yeah. Just, to, just put a little yeah, bit, a little bit on your chopsticks, and it's like super flavorful, super salty. Um, usually, it has a little bit more oil than this. This has a little bit too less uh, less oil. Uh, the oil is very important to the flavor of this dish, uh, but it's one of my favorite things. We have it all the time at home. Uh, my wife's sister makes it and sends it over. Um, I didn't realize that it was in Anhui also. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No, you know I'm not Korean. You're small. Okay, I'm gonna get them to speak their local dialect. I'm gonna get them to speak uh, their uh, their local dialect so you can people who understand uh Mandarin, you can get a feel for the difference. <笑>这个是普通话这个不是南腔话我说南腔话 这个可以哇我家的再说一点我是南新年翻译来的南新你恰不恰冰冷嗯我恰定啊这边的但是不恰黑多哦但是还还恰严嗯我我恰音哦我恰音哦翻译到南新来恰人哈哦你谈个在
where they would be really the center of attention. They'd be like, oh, you know, there's a foreign friend here. Let's, you know, make sure he's, uh, you know, enjoying himself and everything like that. And they'd really go out of their way for you. And for me, that was always a little bit uncomfortable. I just wanted to be like everybody else here. I didn't want to be treated any special, any more special than anybody else. Um, and, and especially because I know there's a lot of other people who take advantage of that here. They come to China, they're treated like royalty, and they leave with this big head. Uh, thinking that uh, if they came thinking they were better than Chinese, they go home still thinking they're even better uh, than them if they didn't really pull anything meaningful out of the experience. And um, I never really liked that. Uh, but what I experienced today was that myself and my friend Gavin, my Chinese friend, were treated exactly the same as each other. They were just as excited that we drove in 13 hours yesterday to come here and join them. And I was treated no better than my friend um, from Anhui, Gavin. And I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Um, you know, finally, when we they got around to the question about asking where I was from, which is well into, you know, halfway through lunch, and I said Canada, so many of them got up and they came over to drink with me. They came over to cheers with me saying, Canada, Bai Chu Wen. So Bai Chu Wen, uh, I can't remember his English name right now off the top of my head, Norman Bertrude or something. He was a Canadian doctor who came over and helped China um, during a pretty difficult period and actually died on the ground here. And he's... Uh, uh, recognized as a hero, uh, you know, throughout all of China. And it's quite amazing, you know, no matter what the geopolitical issues are today, with Meng Wanzhou being detained on behalf of the U.S., with the recent uh, Xinjiang uh, uh, proposition um, in Parliament, they still search for the positives. They still search for a way to say, I like you because of this. They look for the positives in foreigners, no matter how much they're being targeted now. And, and this is something that extends beyond today, because if you think about it, even before the current uh, geopolitical interests uh, or, or, or tensions, China was so welcoming to outsiders, despite the fact that they were a country that, were, that was carved up by imperial forces for so long, whether it be the British, the Germans, the you know, uh, Portuguese, all these different powers that came into China and carved China up during the century of humiliation. Despite that, China has always been so welcoming to outsiders. And when you compare that, you know, my, my phone is ringing. I'm gonna end that call. I'll, I'll, I'll call, I'll call back, I'll call them back. But when you compare that uh, back on track to the US, for example, um, you know, it's a country that has never been exploited by foreign powers quite like China has. Unless you, you're you talking about the indigenous people in the U.S. being exploited by Europeans coming through and um, pushing them through the western territories and then uh, squeezing them into Oklahoma. And, but that's getting into a whole uh, North American colonialism thing that I didn't want to talk about today. But um, you, you don't have that same context of being exploited by foreign powers like China has. Yet they are so unwelcoming to foreigners, largely speaking. Uh, they don't have the same warmth to outsiders coming in. Um, and it's really, it's completely backwards to what you would imagine. Um, but those were the things that stood out for me. Obviously the food was great too. Um, but in retrospect, you know, uh, experiencing what I experienced today and thinking about what I was thinking about while I went in with my camera, I don't think I'm gonna get too much footage from the wedding and from these uh, internal events for you. Uh, I'll try, I, I think with the wedding it might be a little bit more easy because I think a lot of people will be recording. Um, but, you know, worst case scenario, I'll just explain it to you afterwards and probably what you'll see more of is just us on the road for the rest of our trip with me and Gavin. Gavin doesn't mind me filming him and I'm close enough with him where he doesn't feel suspicious when I pull out my camera. Um, so we're going to continue on after the wedding tomorrow. Uh, we're probably going to be here for a couple more nights. And uh, I was hoping to get my new drone up in the air. I got a DJI FPV drone, uh, but I'm not going to be flying under the influence as I am right now. Um, but at some point I'll show you some drone footage. But for this particular video, I think this is where this is going to end. And we'll continue our adventure on in uh, two or three more videos here after. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the trip so far and I will catch you soon. Catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, more alcohol. You avoid it. You didn't drink anymore.
but and also eating a little bit of a uh, bean lang is very bad for you not good so this is the night before the wedding tomorrow is the wedding Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay, go wide up, Hello. 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 Right, so now today is day two, um, continuation of the last video. We're heading into the wedding. I got a little bit of footage in there. I've already seen a lot of people I haven't seen in many, many years. Some people for uh, nine years. Uh, so it's been really good to catch up with some people who used to work in the restaurant before, but we're heading up now. All right, let's go.